creating an animated bullet list with highlighter. This example is sped up from the original. Start with a basic title and place your text with formatting. Add a highlighter to effect. Turn the opacity down to zero. We don't actually need a shape from this effect. Add a shape mask. Size the mask to fit the first line of bulleted text and stretch the right edge out to the viewer's edge. When dealing with text in the viewer, you need to change the cursor tool from select to one of the others. In this scene, I have changed the tool to the trim tool by typing the T key. Hold down option key to control only one side of the mask at a time. Repeat this step for each bulleted line. Set up timing markers on the title for when you want each line to ride on. Here, we've set up 5 time spans. After animating the lines of text, you may want to have the title stay on screen for an extended time, so adjust the timing length. Move to the first marker and set a keyframe on the first line's mask. Set a keyframe on the second marker. Move back to the first and drag the mask to the left of the text. Try to keep the corner lined up with the adjacent lines. For each line, repeat the process for the line's timing markers. Change the blend mode for the highlighter effect to stencil alpha, the text beneath the masks will disappear. Go to the effects masks menu and select invert masks, all the text beneath the masks will now appear. Notice our list header disappears as well. The write on is created. Add another shape mask. Use the mask to cover the top line so that it stays active. Add another shape mask. Size it and arrange it over the column of bullets. Move the playhead to a point before the line animation and set a keyframe. Move the playhead to the beginning of the title and set another keyframe. Then move the playhead to just before the lines begin to animate and move the shape mask to cover all the bullets. Now our animation begins with the list title, then the bullets fill in, and then each line writes on. If you want to skip the bullet animation, you can just turn that shape mask off. No need to delete it, keep it as an option. Now for a background. Add another highlighter to effect. Arrange the shape to cover a background region. Add some roundness and an outline. You will not be able to move the text because of the arrangement of the masking. To get around this, add highlighter transforms. Use the position parameters to place the bullet list where you want it on the screen. All effects, including the shape masks, will move together.
Here is the bullet list presentation running in real time with each line's timed appearance. Giving a speaker time to fill in the talking points. Add a background clip. You can always go back and change various appearance aspects, like the background color here. Remember to save as an effects preset. Here we added a highlighter shadow effect to add a drop shadow. The entire project took about 10 minutes to complete. Thank you for watching. I hope you're beginning to understand the amazing power of the highlighter bundle of effects, and we're only really scratching the surface here. We've used only 3 of the 27 effects, and 2 titles, that are part of the highlighter bundle. See the about section below, for a link to highlighter.